It's a big world out there, but our home is the place where we can cultivate peace and joy. It's our little corner of the world, and we have the option every day to make it a place of productivity, education, love, and comfort. Most of us want to have a cozy and welcoming home, and one of the ways we can create that is by establishing homemaking routines. And not only are they practical and can provide a soothing flow and rhythm to our day, but they can also make us happier as well. My name is Lisa, and I sure am glad to see you here today. So let's explore that a little bit further. The first thing is get dressed for the day. Our grandmothers woke up early and got dressed for whatever the day had in store for them. And if we're at home all day, it's very easy for us to just stay in our pajamas and not get dressed. And there's nothing inherently wrong with that, but it is definitely more difficult for us to be motivated to do things if we're not up and dressed. We feel extra comfy, so it's more difficult for us to be motivated to do productive tasks. And to illustrate what I mean by this, there's something in the the medical community called PJ paralysis and what this essentially is is that patients in hospitals studies have shown that if they're in their pajamas all the time or the hospital gown they recover not as quickly as people who actually get dressed in their regular clothes the people that stayed in their pajamas were staying in bed more and they were more reinforced with feelings of being unwell and so they got up less and they walked around less and it took more time for them to recover and resulted in a longer hospital stay. So getting dressed is very important. And speaking of getting dressed, go ahead and put on a pair of shoes as well. Whether it's a pair of sandals or a pair of sneakers that you wear when you're just in the house. Because again, psychologically speaking, when we put on a pair of shoes, we feel more energetic and we're more motivated to complete tasks. Make a routine of having fresh flowers or greenery in your space. There is something so wonderful about having our home clean and picked up and then seeing fresh flowers on a table or a countertop. And I love that because there is just something about seeing fresh flowers that makes us stop and admire. And having something alive in our home is so beneficial because it boosts our mood, it brings the outdoors in, and it it's a way to show that we care about how our home feels. So go ahead and pick up some flowers from the market or pick some that are growing wild around where you live and reap the benefits. Another great homemaking routine to get into is to have a stocked pantry. Things like pasta, rice, cornmeal, sugar, tinned tomatoes, tinned tuna, tinned salmon, anything that you eat is great to store because a stocked pantry will get you through many of life's emergencies and many of life's ups and downs through illness and job loss and all kinds of other things. And a lot of those types of foods like flour and sugar, etc., can last a long, long time if they're packaged up in airtight containers and kept cool and dry. So a stocked pantry is absolutely invaluable. Probably one of the best homemaking routines that we can cultivate is homemade food. Nothing beats a homemade meal when it comes to simple living because the very act of creating it signifies intentionality. And when you make your meals, don't rush. This doesn't mean that you have to spend hours in the kitchen because so many nutritious, wholesome meals can be created without a big time commitment. But when you do make your meals, take your time. Try to use fewer convenience items because making food from scratch doesn't really require a lot but the difference in the quality of food is significant. It is a marked difference from when you make something from scratch and when you use a lot of convenience items to make it. It is worth it. Also, the kitchen really is the heart of the home, so make it inviting. Set up a table and a couple of chairs ready for cozying up and chatting or for working on projects. And if your kitchen is small and you don't have a table and chairs, that's okay. The mere act of making 
making food is what is so alluring and what draws us in and encourages us to relax and gives us comfort and peace. And that is a big part of what makes a house a home. Set things out the night before to make the next day go more smoothly. So set out your coffee pot and your teapot or whatever it is that you like to drink so that all you need to do is boil up some water and it's ready. Lay out your clothes. That way if you have a loose button or you don't have any clean socks, you're able to remedy that situation with time to spare. And also plan the evening's main meal and take out whatever you need to from the freezer if that's what you need to do. And set the table out for breakfast. Even if breakfast is just coffee and a muffin, put out your plate and any utensils you might need. This way you're not hunting around for a butter knife or a napkin at the last second. And not only is this practical, but it looks so inviting and it encourages us to linger over breakfast for a few more moments. Now, of course, everybody's daily routine is different and how you get ready for the next day is going to be as varied as each of us. But the point is, is just to spend a few minutes the day before just to make the next day go a bit more smoothly. Also try growing something anything at all, it doesn't matter what it is. Whether you have a big garden, a small garden, whether you're growing some basil in a pot or even some house plants, getting your hands in the dirt is so good for our well-being. It eases depression, it eases anxiety, and it is so good for boosting our mood. And taking care of something alive deepens our connection to our home and is so beneficial. And lastly, I think it's also important to be aware of the bigger picture because when we think about the chores involved in homemaking routines, I think our culture today hasn't really given us the best picture. Because a lot of us, when we think about a homemaker, the vision that comes to mind for many of us is this poor frazzled woman who's trying to do a million things while scrubbing out the shower. And because of this, I really feel that the importance of homemaking is minimized. And I also think the impact that it has on households and families and society as a whole is minimized as well. So we need to look at this differently because when we take the time to build up our home, it does have a tremendous impact not only in a practical way because a clutter-free bathroom not only makes your morning go smoother but it actually makes you and everyone else who lives in your home feel much better a kitchen where good food is cooked and where the smell of a good meal cooking on the stove is wafting through the house makes people feel relaxed it makes you feel relaxed and helps you release some of the tension of the day and it gives you comfort and joy and peace and it's good to remember that each of us is a homemaker and it doesn't matter if you work full time or you stay home full time, whether you have a family with kids or it's just you, each of us makes our home. So I hope some of these routines are useful to you to provide a better flow to your day and make you a little bit happier as well. Thank you so much for joining in. Take care everyone and we'll catch you in the next one.